Welcome to Encore's Time Master, the most powerful, flexible, yet easy to use time tracking app on the iPhone or iPod Touch. In this video, we're going to discuss the time entries. Okay, before starting and adding a time entry, I want to go over a few things in the setup that you should set up before you start using time entries. We'll go into the general section. Okay, entry rollover is for people who are like night shift workers and work till say like 2 in the morning. You'll want to set this ahead to something like 4 in the morning, which you would never work past. And that will keep time entries current for this current day. You'll want to set a global rate here, which is a default that you'll bill at unless you override that with the client project task or even the entry itself. You can have multiple timers going at the same time if you want, or we leave it off by default. Rounding, if you want to round your time, it's very powerful. You can round up, and you can round by anything you want. Hour, minutes, seconds, you can round nearest, up or down. And say, for example, lawyers bill on tenth of an hour, you'll want to set that for six minutes. For this video, we're just going to use up, round up one minute. And start old entry. I'll explain that when we get to that. Uh, time mode, depending upon what you want to do, we can have start, stop, and duration, just start and stop, or start and duration. Uh, time quick pick is a little special tool for adding uh, or subtracting time from your time entries. So say for example that you didn't want to use our default plus or minus 10 minutes and you wanted to override that say for six minutes you can change that to six minutes and as you can see the two middle buttons will add or subtract six minutes at a time so we're going to set this back to the default of ten minutes and go back to the general and the last thing we have on here is the week starts if uh, your week doesn't start on Sunday say for example it starts on a Tuesday you can set that here and then your work week will run from Tuesday through Monday. Okay, on the time entries, I want to show you the filters real quick. For the we have the date filters where we've got today, yesterday, this week, and if you do the week ones, they will run through the Tuesday through the Monday since we overrode that. Or say you only want to see things for this month, keep your list nice and short. Okay, we'll go back and set that to all dates. We also have entry filters which we can select the client or we can select the project, the task, or if you have the optional invoicing module you can view by invoiced or not invoiced. Okay, now let's go ahead and add a new time entry here and let's say we have a new client, ABC, and we don't have them in the Time Master yet so we're going to add them right on the fly by hitting the plus button here to add a new time entry and we actually want to assign them a project so we're going to actually jump into project first and they don't have a project yet so we're going to hit plus button to add that on the fly and add the project and let's say we're doing a TV guide app for them and we go need to select a client for this and ABC is not in the list so we hit plus and if you have them in your contacts you can copy it from your contacts there's ABC and if you have multiple addresses phone numbers or emails it will prompt you to select the one you want so we're going to select this work, we're going to select the sales uh, a note on the names here we have a short name which is used on the device and also on exports and then for our optional billing module on the invoice will be the full name address and phone number and the email to who you want to email the invoice to you can see more information on that on our invoicing module okay so let's say you had a if you want to put in a code for this client if your system on your export requires a, a code you can enter that here if you want to override the rate you can do that here say that we want to charge these guys 90 bucks an hour instead of the global 95 we can also override the rounding per client and if you purchase the invoicing module you can also set a tax say that they were in New Jersey like the New Jersey tax and if your time entries are also billable you can check those are taxable 
If your expenses are taxable, you can tap that and those will default to taxable. And we'll pick a terms that we entered earlier. And now we're going to save this client. And we're going to pick them from the list now that they're in the list. And now you can see that we're back to our project. And we can actually override this, say that we had knew it was going to be a big project, we're going to give them an extra little discount, charge them 85 bucks an hour. Again, in the projects, we also have codes, and you also have a note field, which is kind of like a secondary code. So for some practice systems, you might have an internal code for your uh, entry, and you might want to put like your docket number in the note field. Okay, and now we see that we have our TV Guide app in here in the project, so we're going to select that. Oops. TV Guide. And you can see that it automatically filled in the project and the client. Now you can see our it defaults to now for the time. If we have our start time, we have our stop time. And you can tap on any of these and change these any way you like. If you don't want to use timers, you can just have a start time and stop time. You can also use the quick pick buttons here to add times. Um, over here is some stuff if you want to override anything only in this time entry. You can override the rate, you can override the rounding, and if it's taxable or not for your invoicing. Reference is your notes that you want to put on your billing. So we'll say that we had met with client. Okay, and we're going to save that. And now, say for example, you wanted to use timers, you can see that today's entries show up in green. This one's rolling over from 810. So we just tap on the green area, and that will start our timer. And say for example that you were working with buy rate 2 today, and they call right now, so we want to tap on this one. We can start that timer and talk to them. And when we're done with them, we get off the phone, go back to our, our first project. We can start that, and you can see that the elapsed time is running while the timer is running. And this is unrounded. When you stop it, you can see that you have the round up to the nearest minute on there. So we can go into our time entry. And I also want to note that all of our screens also work in landscape mode if you prefer that. So if you like working with a bigger keyboard when you're in your notes or something like that, you can do that here. And we'll save out of here. And there's our time entries again.